Tobago represented at Caribbean Tourism Conference. New health program to bring food safety awareness and sargasm movement being monitored. Info update. Bringing you the latest news, views and, and reviews. reviews. Along with responses, comments and events affecting you. Brought to you by the Information Division of the Tobago House of Assembly. Tobago was represented in a national contingent at the recent State of the Tourism Industry Conference. Omar Mills has the details. A Trinidad and Tobago contingent recently attended the State of the Tourism Industry Conference in Barbados, hosted by the Caribbean Tourism Organization. The Secretary of Tourism and Transportation, Tracy Davidson Celestine, says the event gave officials a chance to network and familiarize themselves with new tourism trends. The secretary adds that the event wasn't only for the senior representatives. Also, we had the opportunity to participate in the Junior Minister of Tourism Youth Congress debate, and I must congratulate all participants for placing second in the Caribbean Tourism Organization um, competition. The secretary says the attendees at the conference also discussed ways to maximize on cruise ship arrivals. We were also able to participate in a discussion aimed at bringing to life a sudden Caribbean cruise initiative, pondering on how we can increase cruise arrivals to respective destinations in the Southern Caribbean outside of the peak season. Trinidad and Tobago also took part in electing the new CTO chairman, Obadiah Wilchcombe. I'm Amadara Mills for Info Update. Efforts are being made to eliminate foodborne diseases on the island. Davia Chambers has the details. The Caribbean Tourism and Healthcare Program is aimed at making Tobago healthier and safer for visitors and locals. The program was launched yesterday and the Division of Health and Social Services Administrator Cheryl Ann Solomon says this initiative will help officials better monitor and report health issues on the island. Destinations such as ours cannot afford the negative fallout from illnesses resulting from foodborne diseases. No doubt we have all heard of such situations elsewhere, either on cruises, hotels, or the call of food stuff from supermarkets. She says it will also help to educate residents. It is critical that we all embrace this program by exposing all our staff and members of our various organizations to the training to be undertaken over the next we must not only be educated in the best practices of the country, but must follow at all times guidelines that would ensure the elimination of the negative issues that will result from non-compliance. Fifteen people have already been trained to become a part of the program. I'm Davia Chambers for Info Update. We have an update on the sargasm seaweed problem in Tobago. Carolyn Wallace brings us this story. Secretary of Agriculture, Marine Affairs, Marketing and the Environment, Godwin Adams, says the influx of sargassum seaweed in the last month has not been as prolific as last year. Various beaches in Tobago have been affected by the seaweed's return, but Mr. Adams says his division was able to control its impact. We also can monitor the movement of the sargassum now that we have systems, the IT systems that can afford us the opportunity to forecast the movement of the sargassum. Mr. Adams says his division is committed to doing whatever it takes to ensure that sargassum does not affect residents as much as it did last year. I am Caroline Wallace for Info Update. That's it from all of us at the Department of Information. I'm Josan Brassi and you've been listening to Info Update. Tobago will join the rest of the country in celebrating our 40 years as a republic. 40 years as a republic. The, the Tobago House of Assembly will host its annual Republic Day cultural show and fireworks display on Saturday at Sid Gray Sporting Complex in Roxborough from 6.30pm. This event is free to the public. Come, celebrate with us.